Another one, this is again Rokas. We're going to look at another meaningful topic together, which will help as much me as much as uh, normally it helps other people. So I'm thrilled to be here again with you. Uh, also, before we start, I wanted to thank everyone for your support. So there's a few videos which are still planned to, to be uploaded. I'm filming these a bit quicker than I'm uploading. So most likely the situation changed already, but as far as it's today, uh, we have already about 100 subscribers. It's funny because uh, when I started Aikido Shule channel, which most of you probably know, it's more Aikido related uh, YouTube channel. I gathered more than 8,000 subscribers, which back then didn't feel like much, but at the same time, there was a lot of different material which I was not always inspired about. It was a bit, a bit of it was more about trying to make a good YouTube channel. And so these 8,000 subscribers didn't feel like that much. But here, when I'm really passionate about what I'm talking about and there's really a connection with you guys, I really feel that even that 100 is like, wow, it's so special because there's a, something big going on here. So I really wanted to thank you here for being here. If this is your first video, we'll get in touch later, but most of you probably isn't are not here for the first time, so it's cool. Okay, but let's not waste your time. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, discuss something. So this topic is going to be a bit Aikido related, but uh, as you probably noticed, I'm trying to make it as vast as possible because Aikido is not just about Aikido. Aikido is about life. It's a mentality of life and it can be applied to anyone. So Aikido is just going to be a small word in this video. It's more about everyone. But nonetheless, what I noticed in Aikido, what I noticed in my life, and what I try to practice in Aikido sometimes, I call the we mentality. So you should see the text here, we mentality. There's I and there's we. And it's something that I picked up uh, initially from my teacher, Sensei Patrick Cassidy, but it evolved as I practiced myself. So the problem is, in our world, is that we tend to separate ourselves. We tend to be against others. We tend to be against life. We feel like we are, this, we are this small separated part of life that has to struggle to survive. You know, sometimes even people feel like God is unjust and he's punishing me, etc, etc. It's a whole old mentality. And the we mentality is actually rare to find. Basically, the we mentality, what it means, it means if I, whether I have the we mentality or not, or if you have the we mentality or not, uh, you can check by asking yourself, Am I more focused on my own personal needs and my own personal well-being? Or am I focused more about the us, the we? Am I focused about the connective, uh, the connective good of everyone? Am I focused on what's good for all of us? And it's funny because sometimes altruistic people who are trying to be good, uh, oftentimes they are good, uh, they, they try to forget themselves. You know, ego is bad, I'm bad. and. You know, punish myself, hurt myself, forget myself, help others. And it sounds good on a certain level and it may be better than nothing, but at the same time, it denies actually that I'm also a part of this whole. If I'm not able to be happy, if I'm not able to, to live a quality life myself, how the hell will I ever be able to give that to others? And that's a place a lot of us oftentimes fall into. And I was there too. It's uh, sometimes even called the guru complex, where, mm -hmm, where without first attaining something uh, unique, something amazing, we try to save the world. And actually what happens is uh, that's, at that point, it's the same as we had dirty hands and we try to clean things up. It's just gonna make it worse. So to tell you the truth, first of all, we have to uh, become clean ourselves initially. And that, that's also uh, an aspect of the we mentality. The we mentality understanding that I am a part of the whole. My well-being, my understanding, my, my quality of life is also important, but it's not just about me. And that's the problem where most people get stuck. They're either on one side or the other. Even it's, it's either all about me or it's all about others. And even, let me tell you the truth, even if you are a person of all about others, or you know someone who's all about others, it actually has a tendency to be, it's, it's also most of the times just an ego expression. It's, I am that one who sacrifices himself for others. I don't care about myself. It's a lot about me. I was there too, so trust me, I know what I'm talking. And I can see that because I've been there too. So to continue on, coming back to the we mentality, 
uh, we mentality is so much more. The we mentality actually respects the fact that I am a part of the whole. My well-being is as much as important as everybody else's. If I will feel like crap, there's no chance I will help others feel better. So, so I need to take care of myself too, but it cannot be just about myself. Uh, as we spoke in the previous video about being, I mentioned something about being the cells of the earth of the of this planet it sounds a bit maybe cliche but it's true you know we are all a part of this we're all in the same boat but so often we forget that so often we feel like uh, life is just about me so often we feel that i need to take care of myself first before i take care of others but in the we mentality when i and, and the we mentality starts when i understand fully that i'm a part of the whole that I have the right to be here as much as everyone else and I have the responsibility to take care of myself as much as everyone else. That uh, we have to, whenever I ask myself whether I should do this or shouldn't do this, first of all, I should ask myself, okay, is this going to make, is this going to benefit the whole? Is it going to benefit not only me, but others too? And if it's just about me or if it's just about others, there's something there is gonna be missing. So there's a lot more we could talk about here. And there's, there are principles about how to actually feel and understand when are you referring to the we mentality, when it's the ego, and we are going to talk about that. And that's very cool, very special. It helps me a lot myself, but I don't wanna to put too much in one video. So we're going to stop here soon. But uh, to already make a point here to, to make us think, just ask yourself, okay, so are you living in the me mentality or the we mentality? Is every decision, every action you take is first of all primarily based on what you want to do and what's good for you or just good for others? Or are you thinking about the whole? Are you feeling as the part of the whole? Is your life about making the whole better or is it just about winning against others to become better? Which is too often the case. So again, I will not go far, I will not go too far here, we'll stop here, but think about it. Try to feel into it, and try, to ask, try to ask yourself, how much are you into me mentality, how much are you into we mentality? And if you're very much into me mentality, just ask yourself, how can I become uh, more part of the we mentality? How can I benefit the whole? What can I do that will feel great to me and will feel good to others too? what will benefit not only me, but others too. And I think that's one of the secrets to an amazing, awesome life. If you have any ideas, comments, just share with them, don't hesitate. Everyone's opinion is interesting. Everyone has something to say. Say it, say it sincerely, say what's really on your mind. And even if you have doubts, if you have some questions, uh, let me know too. I'm always open and happy to discuss with you. And so yeah, as always, life is short, so let's make it meaningful. And I'm Rokas, and I'll see you in the next video.